Sometimes you want your wheels to spin a little faster and the best way to do that is to use some different size cogs. And if you want the wheels to spin fast, then you need to use a small cog which actually turns the wheel, but a larger cog attached to the motor. So your small cog needs to be completely separate from the motor and spin independently, usually through some um, beams or frames, something like this. Here's an example of some little code where I've got the car going as fast as I can to the wall and coming back again using the force sensor. You can see it goes a bit faster, but you've got to make sure things, everything spins nicely and doesn't rub. And it's good to use those little brushes, those tiny little circular pieces to keep things separate. And it's also good to make things nice and sturdy to make it as strong as you can. But if you're making a car, then you're going to make sure that each wheel has its own cogs. And here's another example using a couple of beams. So I used a couple of beams and I put one of those four pin connectors in the middle of them and a cog in the middle of two beams and then it can spin really easily and sturdily. It's always a good idea to put the wheels directly under the cogs too then gravity helps it spin properly. Here's an example with some little motors, some medium sized motors and tiny cogs and they'll spin really fast but I'm not sure if your car's too heavy it might not even get started because it's a bit like putting it straight into fifth gear in the car. It might not get off the ground. So there's some examples of how you can make wheels spin really fast using cogs. I hope that's useful. Please like and subscribe and check out my website www.robotman.com.au